going on guys it is december 4th 2023 uh we got into two calls today well i got into more than that but uh two that i filmed uh one was a leak search that i wish yielded better results um because you know what i found kind of feels like a cop out but it is the only leak that i that i could find and uh you guys probably know what i'm talking about and then the other one is we're following up on another technician that uh, diagnosed the bad draft inducer and ignition control board. So we install those a little bit later. So take a look. All right, we got a York two-ton heat pump here. We're gonna do a leak search on. Um, uh, one of our guys did a PM on it, seeing that it was low on refrigerant. So we're gonna fire up the leak detector and see if we can find where it's leaking. It's got a fairly long line set, goes down there. We're gonna start up in here though, see what we see. All right, we've been working through here. Haven't found anything yet. I'm not sure we're even gonna find anything on this air handler. But we're gonna keep running around. Checking the usual suspects. All these U-bends and everything. I don't see very much up here though. Not even any oil or anything. So we'll keep on up here for a couple more minutes. Then we'll move to the outdoor unit. All right, Ken is checking. Everything on the outdoor unit now with the leak detector. We'll keep on. Well, the only thing we found so far is this cap here does not have a seal in it. And there's oil all over that Schrader. And it's definitely leaking. So we've been all over with everything else on this thing and can't find nothing else. So looks like that's going to be our leak. I mean, because it's it's low, but it's not like really low. I think it's maybe three pounds shy. Let's see how much it holds. Seven pounds, 10 ounces. So um, I would say it probably lost about half of its charge. We're going to quote them four pounds. And... Um, and see what it takes. I'm gonna, we're going to try to fix that valve core and then go from there. Probably replace all the valve cores, honestly. All right, we got that old valve core remover pulled out of there. You can see it's kind of bent. Oops, I dropped a new one. It had some, looks like gasket or something jammed in it. Not sure what it was. Maybe the, uh, the gasket from the cap. It was weird. Whatever was in there was weird. So we got a new one here, though. We're going to drop that in. And uh, I'm gonna we'll charge this thing up and get the heck out of here. All right, new valve core in. We're gonna charge her up now. I'm gonna charge her in heat mode. I don't like doing that, but it's the best way. I mean, it's, it's only about 60 degrees out here right now. All right, we're definitely in a lot better shape than we were. We're about, uh, Uh, where it's kind of warm out here we can't get a really good gauge on on uh heating performance either but i put about four pounds in it um probably do a follow-up here in the when we go to switch over to air conditioning but definitely running a lot better than what it was change that valve cord put four pounds in her looking pretty good well we're here to replace this draft inducer because it's pretty rusted out but this is oh uh, you know what okay he took the screws i wasn't the one that diagnosed this another technician did so i'm wondering why this thing's hanging off like this it's because he took the screws out of it so that's my fault but uh either way we got a new draft inducer we have a new um new spark board so we're gonna go ahead and get started on it right, we got the old one off it was actually pretty pretty difficult but we're going to take all this old gasket material off because it comes with a new gasket. And we're going to remount this plate here. So it makes it a little bit easier on us to mount the new one. I'm going to try to get this cleaned up the best we can. Let's see if our... 
our collection box isn't that bad. It looks like somebody furnace cemented this thing at some point though. I don't know why. Um, I think they said this heat exchanger was replaced not long ago. So maybe somebody furnace cemented this mounting bracket to the collection box. Not sure what the deal is there. Something squirrely happened, but um, we're gonna mount this, this plate on first, then we're gonna mount a new draft inducer. There's our new gasket goes on. Looks like it's off by a little bit, but it's whatever. And let's unhook this wiring. And then this guy is gonna go right on. Like this. All these should line up beautifully, and they do. All right, and then we just gotta lock these back in. Well, once we get done dropping all the bolts. This one seems small. That is definitely not the right size. Are we missing one? No, yeah, we'll find. All right, we're gonna start doing this board now. Ken's gonna take the screws out of it. I guess the clips had broke at some point, and somebody <clears throat> put screws in it to hold it in place. He's gonna take those screws off. Gonna set the new board in place and then just move one wire over at a, one wire over at a time so we don't get uh get confused a lot of rust on this thing yeah it's just going to push right into those Should hear a click. Maybe they're, they won't click, but you know, yep. This one's not clicked. There we go. Yep, they're in there. Okay. Now it's just a matter of taking wires off and putting them back on. And you got one more, and then the flame sensor. And then, then the spark too. Push this one, we'll pull it off. We want to make sure it's not bent over or anything. We don't have to strip that back. There's still a good amount of wire showing, so just push it right onto that needle. There you go. All right, cool. That's everything. All right, now we still have to hook up the draft inducer wires. So um, that is this one here. And then the other one goes up there somewhere. So we'll splice into that. All right, so this guy's gonna go right here. And then we'll, we'll cut this one right around here somewhere and split. All right, and there we have it. New board and then new draft inducer. Start it up, see if it works. All right, our draft inducer started. Uh, I still gotta put a screw in this here. Make sure our gas is on, our gas is on. So we have a steady flash here, which is good. We should have a spark here in a couple minutes. We'll get another zip tie and try to straighten some of this wiring up. But we did fire, so that's good.
That belt looks like crap. Yeah, we'll fix that. Well, we know the part we quoted is good. So we'll see if we got a belt on the truck for that and some zip ties. A52, yeah, she's pretty floppy. All right, Ken, we need an A52 belt and we'll get some zip ties. All right, I don't have an A52 belt, so I'm gonna have to tighten this one up for the time being. Um, so we gotta loosen this bolt, four bolts around here, and then this here will we'll adjust the actual bracket. All right, our belt's in better shape now. Give it a couple more turns of the bolt here. We should be good. Yep, that's a lot better. Cool. Still gonna come back with a belt. We just don't have one on us. And uh, we'll take and tighten up these side ones here. We'll start it back up and be good to go. They actually want air. It's, this is a physical therapy office. Um, the technician that diagnosed it left the disconnect off of course but <laughs> when i got here they were asking if it was off because they were actually wanted air conditioning so they'll be happy to get the air conditioning back on even though it's you know, in the 50s out here they still want air conditioning right on yeah that belt needs to be replaced but it's a lot better than what it was yeah that belt that belt's kind of squeaky The rest of this packed up and we'll be good to go yeah guys so as far as the valve core replacement that's the only thing i could find leaking and that cap did not have a seal in it so i mean there's no doubt it was leaking but um you know it always kind of kind of seems cheap or kind of seems like a cop out when uh you just you know say say the valve core is leaking because you know usually there's something else but i honestly could not find any other leak so we replaced that valve core and charged him up and he's good to go. And uh, yeah, we replaced the draft inducer and uh, ignition control board on that York RTU that has probably seen better days, but uh, we got them heat and they actually needed air conditioning today, they were telling me, so we got their air conditioning back on too. But all right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. So if you haven't done so already, please give me a like and uh, subscribe if you're new here try to post videos and well i've been slowing down but i do i, I try to do at least three a week so um turn notifications on for, to get notified when i drop new videos so all right guys catch you on the next one